What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna cover is it worth to spend the extra money on premium gasoline? Or should you just stick with the, you know, the cheap, you know, unleaded fuel, which majority of cars use and daily drivers use. You don't have to pay extra dollar or two. I mean, unless you live in California, you're paying like extra 50 cents per gallon. But before I get onto this video, please like, share, subscribe, and let's get into it. So I did some research on whether or not whether you should spend more money for more premium fuel if your car asks for regular or should you use cheap fuel like drive a sports car and just use cheaper fuel it's no big deal right nope it's actually a big deal on whether or not so to keep this short and dirty just use whatever your manual says if you drive electric cars like i do or you still drive gasoline like some of my family members will still drive gasoline cars then just you know refer to your manual but just to look at differences in price versus you know what or not is it healthy for your engine so you gotta know that gas right now is getting more expensive even with you know currently they say it's stagnated because our current president talked with a dictator country saying that like hey we're gonna get the price gas prices back down but as you know it's going to happen no matter whether you like it or not gas prices are going to go up because it's a finite resource and you can't extract too much of it and you got a lot of people who are going against it so at that point just go electric but you should you know as a person who really likes to drive vehicles i still like my gas cars like manuals and exotic sports cars you know make them high risk still like gasoline but you just don't have to rely on you know your common daily drives those can be electric but this is not what this video is about and we are looking at the three types of gas. So the three numbers of gasoline are different. In Europe, they run different octanes. In the United States octane, we're running 87, 91, and 93. So some states don't have 93. Some of them have like a really weird number in the middle, which I don't understand what's the point of it, 89. I was like, can you guys just go with the cheap one and the high octane one? And you know, you have your race fuel, which is even better e85 baby but so octane level is representing the measurement on how the fuel is rated to resist from blowing up ex unexpectedly meaning igniting within your engine so higher octane the better it ignites lower octane the more dirtier it is but does it really matter so most of the studies in this case is already done by the manufacturer so some people i got a few people who drive priuses told me to run higher octane fuel for your car even your car asks for regular because it improves better gas mileage better gas mileage okay and my question is how much since this channel is based on finance i asked them how much money would you really save in the long run and they couldn't give me an answer and when I was gonna plan to crunch the numbers, I was thinking, do I even need to crunch the numbers? You're driving a Prius. You're getting like 40 to 50 miles per gallon. And you're telling me, I'm, I'm, in, since I'm in California. You're telling me you want me to spend $2 more per gallon plus added the 50 cents tax fee just to get like one to two miles more? Are you kidding me? At that point, I just go, you know, become a hermit or something goes walk everywhere bike everywhere or those trans people who really love transportation don't like cars just take buses and trains everywhere i mean at that point i just go do that simple save me more money so the real question is do you always need premium i got a few people tell me that they always need premium and since i'm into automobiles and vehicles such as exotic sports cars race cars tune cars and even electric vehicles I look at, do you need premium for daily drivers just to get like a couple miles more? Or you say, oh, it makes your engine last better. It's a daily driver. It's going to get beat up. And the simple answer is no. So for example, if you look at cars that run such as the Ford F-150 or the BMW M5 competition, you look at what type of improvement can you get from over a lower octane level gas but you think about it if you have those performance vehicles and you have one that runs diesel and you run different fuel you can get something called knock knock is when the engine ignites during the wrong interval so if it ignites during the wrong interval it could potentially damage your engine which is not good and at the same time it costs you in this case a ton of money if your engine blows up which is not a good thing in most cases high octane fuel benefit better gas mileage make your engine last longer apparently that's what they say cannot really be claimed on that because i guess most people don't even care let's be honest you just run whatever the owner's manual says but 
methods is based on channel more in finance is just run whatever the manual says. I don't understand why people say, oh, run higher octane fuel. It's better for this, better for that. But the question is, is it worth the cost at the end? Is it worth spending extra $10, $20 every time you bring it to the pump just to run a higher octane fuel when your car requires a lower one? Maybe your car requires a high octane fuel, like 93 or 91, and you run like 87. Then you're asking for, you know, at that point you're asking for big trouble. So another question is, why is different gasoline stations have different prices? So an interesting question here. First, you gotta look at how you compare this different type of octane and different type of quantities of gas. Gas is not made equal. So most people don't notice, and like, so to test this out, I asked my family members, is gasoline's made equal? So anyone who is not into automobiles or vehicles or sports cars, or just, you know, only drive electric cars and don't care about the rest, or they forgot about the Honda Civic they used to drive, then they swapped to a Tesla. Yes, they do have differences. For example, you look at performance fuels like Shell, Mobile, anything from anything from racing F1, anything a sponsor over there, and compared to gasolines like Arco and any lower other brands. So yes, there is a difference within gasoline. And why them have different prices? Because you look at the size delivering times, manufacturing them, and shipping them over. You gotta look at whatever they put in the gas. When they create the gasoline, they use different types of additives. It's not the same. Shell, for example, uses different type of additives for the racing fuel. And for the normal fuel, they still use additives to make it as best for performance and best for the engine as possible compared to like, let's say Valero, Arco, which I had in multiple cases in my previous vehicle, vehicle, which was a BMW 335. I had Arco gas, I actually had knocking. And how I noticed, I hear this little pings, that was like And when I know, when I realized that, and I, I already know it right, because I never had it before. It was the first time, I turned off my engine, restarted it, and hopefully the you know, system figured it out. Thank God I figured it out, but the only time it ever happens when I threw Arco gas. Not to shame on that company, it's based on my personal experience. That's why I never buy from Arco again, but, you know, in that case, maybe I, you know, just got a bad, you know, set of fuel pumped in a car, but it never happened before but it could happen. So engine knocking is when the fuel inside piston chamber ignites before the control explosion happens. Normally the piston compresses the air and fuel, and if you wanna learn more about it, you can look more at Engineering Explain. There's a lot of engineering channels, and Engineering Explain is one of them. They're really good at explaining how this combustion cycle works. I mainly stick to whether or not it's worth the money. But you think about it, if you run higher octane fuel and your car doesn't need it, wasting money. If you are driving a really nice sports car, BMW M5, maybe M4 CSL, maybe Lamborghini, Ferrari, and you're running, requires like the highest octane fuel, like 93 over pump gas. Within a pump gas, you're putting 87 because you're driving Ferrari and you're trying to save like 10 bucks or 20 bucks. And at the end, saving that 10, 20 dollars, it's gonna cost you like 20 to 30 thousand dollars when your engine knocks and it just blows up. So at the end, you gotta look, it's basically risk management in the most easiest way. I don't even know why I'm making this video, just look at your manual, just look at the manual, and pick the gasoline it tells you to fuel. So if it tells you to run 93 instead of 87, run 93. If you're driving a daily drive like a Prius, it says run 87, then run 87. If it's in UK or Europe, I don't know what you guys octane, just follow that rule. The reason why to make it, the manual right there, is for you to understand which gasoline to put in and have rules and regulations for it. So the manufacturer cannot screw you over if you pump the wrong gas. So that's it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And pretty soon, I'll cover a video on what's going to happen next for the financial world since right now most of our currencies are crashing. Peace.